Do you know how to pay zero dollars in taxes on the sale of your property? If you don't, check out this video. Hello, my name is Johnny Jennings and I'm a team lead here at Made For More in Roseville, California. And I wanna discuss how you can pay zero taxes when you sell a property. Here's how it works. Now, before we go into it, I'm gonna tell you a quick story, a quick analogy. Let's say somebody was gonna give you $3 million or if you waited 30 days, they would give you a penny compounded consecutively over that 30 day period, which would you choose? Most of us have heard the story, you know that you net more money, you get more money when you choose the penny compounded uh, over the 30 day period rather than the $3 million. I think it comes out to like $3 million versus $5 million if you wait. But what that equation does not consider is taxes. So let's say you're taxed consecutively on each gain. How much money you left at the end of 30 days? About $70,000, give or take. I take the three million in that instance all day long. So the moral of the story is, it's not how much you make, it's how much you keep, and the biggest detriment to your wealth generation is taxes. You can go deep on that, it's a whole other conversation. I'm not saying don't pay taxes, and I'm not a tax attorney, I'm not a CPA, do not take this, take this as tax advice, but what I do know is 1031 exchanges. So how do they work? Basically, if you sell a property, you can then roll the proceeds of that property into a similar a property of similar or greater value. So let's say you sell a house in Roseville for $500,000. You can roll that, that um, the proceeds of the property, let's say you make 100 grand. You sell, you can roll that $100,000 into another property or properties worth $500,000 or more. Now you here's some things to consider though. One, you cannot touch the proceeds. So you can't make 100,000 go, you know, I just want, you know, want to go on a nice vacation. I'm just gonna pull out 10, $15,000 and take the kids and the, and the wife on a trip. No, do not do that. You cannot touch the proceeds. So what happens is that money is then rolled tax deferred into the next property. And you, here's something else to consider. It's the timelines involved. You have 45 days to identify up to three properties that you're gonna then roll that money into. You only have to roll it into one, but you have to have at least three that you're shooting at, that you're targeting at, especially in today's market or in such a seller's market and properties, good properties go really, really quick. Um, you, wanna ident you, cannot, you have the option to identify up to at least three, and you have to do that within 45 days. So things to remember, it's tax deferred meaning you roll into that property. If you sell that property, so you, you sell property A, make 100, 100 grand. You roll into property B. You sell property B, you're gonna own the taxes on property A and property B. But what you can do is then you can roll it into property C. And there are some exit strategies on how to maximize your, or minimize the, the tax hit, but that's a different video. So one, it's tax deferred. Number two, there's timelines. Number three, do not touch the money. There's way more that goes into it. But if this is something that interests you, reach out to myself or any members of our team, and we're happy to help.